Where's my best friend? Hello and welcome back to another video. As the title has revealed, I will be discussing Kalel's recent actions and is she actually okay? Before I begin the video, I do want to put a disclaimer out there and say that if you're sensitive to issues with mental illness, then this might not be the video for you. And in no way am I making light of Kalel's mental health. I just thought I would bring some light to it. So let's begin with how I actually found Kalel. I stumbled across her videos two or three years ago when I went through an obsession of watching what I eat in a day videos. I know, sad, don't judge me. She was at her peak when the vegan community somehow took over the internet. I don't know a lot about Kalel as a viewer since she would delete a lot of her old videos so you couldn't really see how she's progressed. Even with the clip I just showed you, it goes back a year ago even though I know I've been watching her for like two or three years. And when I went into her about um, section of her YouTube channel, it says she's been doing this since 2013. So it shows that she's been like excessively deleting videos. Over the couple of years that I've been watching Kalel, I've noticed that she's had a few transformations physically, from nose jobs to veneers. Many argue that she was adhering to society's expectations, but to this I would say she's her own person and she can do whatever the hell she wants to do with her body. Here are a few clips of her discussing these changes. I have a very, very unhealthy relationship with my image. And it's honestly so extreme that these days, like it's progressed so much that these days I truly can't look in the mirror at myself. I really, really, really try to avoid mirrors. I understand being a hater against cosmetic surgery because it makes you feel a little bit insecure as well. And, and you don't want to have to do those things to, to get to that woman's level. I do just want to make a point about what she just said about how people are against plastic surgery because it makes them feel insecure. I kind of disagree with this point. I know for a lot of people they're against plastic surgery because it's just you falling underneath what society wants you to look like. And I'm actually not against plastic surgery at all. But the comment that people are against it is because it makes them feel insecure, I think, is the wrong perspective to take it. Some people are just against it because um, they believe in natural beauty or they believe in just being you for you. The first thing that I ever got done was my lips. I think that's kind of the gateway drug for everyone. <laughs> I got done was my nose which was something that I had wanted to do forever. I did get a second nose job because the doctor offered to correct the bump for free. It's free. It's that I got my boobs done. I did that in a very impulsive moment. I had just broken up with my boyfriend. I felt like you know what? I just need this like confidence booster. I want to do something crazy. I was just in such a weird, dark place. I was just so desperate to change any and everything about myself I could. And this was just like, I, I can't believe I did this, but I have a very, very small chin implant right here that I got veneers. Through research, I found that she was once actually engaged to Anthony Padilla formerly a member of Smosh. I was, I was completely caring. surprised about this because I had only known of Kalel recently and she completely wiped her channel of him, which made sense because the engagement was surprisingly off. In the video, she seemed like a completely different person. Her voice was very high pitched. She seemed very giggly and bubbly, but maybe that's how you like when you're in love. Can't relate. So the question, is Kalel okay, was sparked due to her recent actions. Let's begin with the fact that she was dating Cyrus and while she was on holiday with him, she kind of out of nowhere said that she wasn't feeling the relationship with him anymore and it felt way too personal and something that the average person would not upload onto the internet. And then randomly they got back together. This was a massive shock to me because she went through a rough patch with her boyfriend and said that she was going to move out of LA, it wasn't her place and it just didn't work out with him and then randomly they got back together and she came up with a video about how she was going to get engaged and she wants to have kids with him. Well, I feel like we're like peaking in terms of how much we love each other and like how happy we are and like just kind of like, I don't know. 
we're just doing really, really well. And so obviously we've decided to make the commitment of getting a house together, which I saw some people commenting and judging and being like, didn't you just break up? This seems like a stupid idea. You know, maybe. <laughs> From the get go, Cyrus has like expressed marriage and wanting babies. You know, he's been very, he's just like a very loving, guy and i just know that that's something that he super wants and so yeah so it was very easy for me to kind of have that conversation with him and so we're thinking that we're gonna get married next fall maybe it's in the talks a few moments later sorry to burst your bubble here guys but it didn't happen they yet again broke up what the fuck you literally just made a video talking about getting a house getting married and having kids so like where did he go? Uh, I, I just I, I just couldn't do it. I don't know. I, I think part of me was maybe convincing myself that I could and I really wanted it and I wanted to do my best to make it work, but in the end, it just didn't. It seemed like all these updates on her relationships were impulsive and rushed, but then you have to remind yourself that we're not experiencing it in real time like she is, so maybe this is normal. But before all of this, I think her audience sensed a lot of melancholy in her life. She'd mentioned countless times that she doesn't have a lot of people in her life. It seemed like she wasn't close to her family and barely had any friends. And I genuinely felt bad for her. She painted a woman who was alone in her apartment with just her cats. She would also put up long videos with a black screen to discuss her mindset at the time, which only alarmed people even more. But she would say, don't worry about me guys. I don't know if this is a form of manipulation to gain attention or someone who is genuinely fine with being alone and broadcasting her sadness to the world. I mean, I'm definitely lonely. It does not help that, like I said earlier, I've, I've isolated myself so much that it's not that I don't have a boyfriend. I don't have anyone. I don't really have friends. Like I, I have people that I see maybe, maybe like once every two weeks, but like I really don't have friends. It's something I need to work on. And then she stopped being vegan, which I would argue is one of her biggest selling points as a YouTuber. It pulled her out of the margin of the regular LA vloggers. Her decision to stop being vegan unsurprisingly garnered a lot of hate. So where are we now? Recently, she put out a video where she talks about how she can no longer live her day-to-day -day life, which has resulted in her going to therapy and taking medication for depression. I'm glad that she's taking the measures needed for her own well-being. Here are a few clips of her discussing her mental health. I'm in a huge downward spiral that I just don't know if I can get out of on my own. I feel like I'm no longer a functioning member of society. Not that I really was one to begin with, but now it's like times 10. I can't even go out to get my mail. Like that's really, something's not right. Like I, I just, I don't. And I've like cut everyone out hard. Like I mean, I cut people out to begin with in my life. I don't really have friends, but now it's like, I won't even like respond to people. Like I'm just very, and I don't know why. I have nothing to lose, you know? What, what do I have to lose? There's nothing. I mean, my future health, I guess. But honestly, I've, I've had a lot of suicidal thoughts as well lately. So I just feel like, what if there isn't a future? So like, what do I have to lose by trying to take antidepressants? This video kind of showed Kalel at her lowest point. And as a member of her audience for like a couple of years now, it was just sad to see her like this. She was someone who was kind of depressed in the things she said. She always seemed that there was some sort of light at the end of the tunnel. The question is Kalel okay is a tough one because I genuinely have no idea because I'm not her. And this just falls into the line of mental health on the internet. We can all have our opinions and give her advice, but we're not her and we're not her doctor. So we should be careful with what we comment and what we say. Anyway, I think I'm gonna end the video there. I know it's kind of been left on a sad note, but I just hope she gets the help she needs. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe, trying to get to 100 subs there. And yeah, have a good day.